Hello everyone. Every year in UK, when the start of financial year and then end of the financial, that is the last few days of financial year and then the start first few days of financial year, there will be a huge rush to the banks or in the online to open a specific bank account, which is a kind of a savings for you in the with respect to the tax. In this video, we will see what is that the people are doing before the start of the financial year and then the first few days of financial year, why the banks are uh, very busy and then what is the benefit the people will get when they open this type of account with the bank We'll see all these details in this video Please like subscribe and comment and then share this video Your like subscription and comments are really helpful for me to put a lot of useful videos for those who are coming to UK or those who are already new to UK already inside the UK they can definitely follow my videos in my channel which will help you to save money lot of tips and then based on these videos are based on my personal experience as well as the information I gained over the years. So UK financial year starts from April 5th and then during this time a lot of banks will introduce new bank account which is called ISA account which is individual savings account. That is the top level name for the account individual savings account. In UK you will be taxed for the interest. Yes that's true. The interest which you get from the money you put in the bank will be taxed based on your tax slabs. You know that Already you have the 20% basic tax and then the 40% and then the 45% tax rate that is tax lapse. Based on that, you, your interest from the bank that is the amount you deposit in the bank and then you, the banks will give you interest. For that interest, you will be taxed. That is definitely as per the rules, you will be taxed based on your tax lab. How this individual savings account will save you tax is my, will be your question. I'll get into that. So individual savings account you have a, a set of money that is the amount of money you can put every year in the individual savings account whatever the income from that that is the tax or the growth from that account you will not be taxed so you can put this year some amount next year some amount or can put n number of years a maximum limit the government says uh, will announce during the budget and then you can put that money if you have that and then the interest from that or the capital income from that account will not be taxed. So individual savings account are kind of basically a top level there are three accounts I would say. One is uh, the individual savings account cash they call cash ISA and then next is the stock and shares ISA and then the third one is uh, LISA that is lifetime in investments uh, individual savings account LISA which is recently opened or just three four years back it started LISA and then you have a children's stock and shares children's cash ISA that is also there the top level is cash ISA then the stock and shares ISA and then comes the LISA which is recently opened as I mentioned so let's go into the what is the limit for cash ISA so cash ISA is you put some cash and then the bank will give you an interest on that cash then the interest will not be taxed so that's simple in cash ISA so the interest rates when the Bank of England interest was around 0.25 it was nothing they were not giving anything to that one but now the bank of england interest rate is around five pound five percent hence you there are some accounts now available in the market there are some cash isa available in the market which will give you four or four point five again it's just example i'm saying they are available so you can put that uh, money and then the interest from that will not be taxed so what is the maximum you can invest there is some tricky thing here so maximum is twenty thousand pounds as of 2024 you can invest in ISA accounts uh, but there is some kind of a rules there so if you open one cash ISA and then you open another uh, stock and shares ISA then you cannot put 20,000 pounds in each so both should be calculated both should total for up to 20,000 only you can you cannot have 20,000 in cash ISA 20,000 in stock and shares ISA I'll come to the stock and shares ISA so this cash ISA so why the people are kind of rushing to open the account before the end of the tax year is if you don't open account and if you don't put that money you will lose that uh, kind of uh, the benefit that is if you have money uh, come something around 20,000 pounds if you don't put that in the type of account then that years that is 2023 24 tax years allowance of 20,000 pounds you will lose so that's the reason the bank will introduce a lot of uh, new type of accounts with some uh, kind of uh, attractive interest rate. So people will rush or people will be more interested to open these accounts before the end of the tax year. And on the other side, the people who 
want to have a proper year start that is financial year start they will put the money at the start of the financial year that is after 6th of april something like that so there will be some rush between the end and start of the financial year so you don't lose the allowance so the people will rush before the end of the financial year to put the money if they have the money so that's the reason there will be a new introduction of isa accounts by the bank and other people will also go and do the a kind of open new account as i mentioned there is a stock and shares isa as well stock and shares isa is nothing but you put the amount again 20000 pounds not as i mentioned both 20000 in cash isa and 20000 in uh, stock and shares isa you can have 10000 on 10000 or 15000 and 5000 it's up to you but it should not go above 20000 pounds so you can put 20000 pounds in stock and shares isa there are a lot of platforms lot of uh, providers uh, giving this type of uh, a stock and shares isa and then you trade you buy stocks or you trade uh, funds you trade some other things as per the platform and also as allowed by the government uk government that is hmrc who which is the tax uh, tax finance department of government you put your money in the you buy shares you buy stocks and then you buy uh, funds all those things with that 20000 pounds in stock and cash isa whatever the income from that if for example you buying a tesla share for 100 after 6 uh, months it's gone to $1000 in that case you have a uh, 10 times of increase of your uh, capital in that case whatever the money increased if you want to uh, kind of withdraw the amount you will not be taxed so the 900 pounds in the increase of your uh, share and then you withdraw that you will not be taxed so that is the benefit of stock and share isa if it goes down it's uh, it's, it's it's your loss only but if it goes up it's your income and then you will not be taxed so a lot of people will do that there are a lot of uh, people in uk who are who are doing this every year 20000 pounds and within uh, 20 years they their income plus uh, their uh, yearly yearly savings will cross more than million pounds something like that there are a lot of people like that millionaire isa holders also there it depends upon their uh, kind of uh, working status how uh, what type of jobs they are working and lifestyle they are able to save 20000 pounds per year so that's it's a uh, case by case so so you can put 10000 plus uh, 10000 in stock and share isa so 20000 you should not increase you should not go above the allowance of 20000 so next one is the third type is as i mentioned lisa lifetime individual savings account this was opened in uh, 2017 16 something like that so what is this this difference between the cash and stock isa is in lisa that is lifetime uh, individual savings account you can put money into that account the allowance is around 4000 pounds you can put in the lisa that's the maximum you can put so 20000 pounds in cash and stock isa plus this 4000 pounds you can do you have kind of a, a 25 years old person opening this account every year you can put 4000 maximum and then the government will give you 25% from their side into that account so that is the income that is the benefit of opening lisa account so how you can use this means you cannot withdraw the amount from the lisa for some specific reasons for example you can withdraw the amount for buying a new house which is your first time new house you are not having a, another property you are buying for the first time then you can withdraw the amount and then you can buy the house for that purpose no penalty but if you want to withdraw the amount without buying a house means the government will deduct 25% while withdrawing so for example if you are putting 100 pounds then the government will put, give you 25 pounds so 125 pounds if you if you withdraw without uh, buying a house then 25% of 125 will be more than what you invested so you will be in loss for for that the government will say that either buy a house or leave the money until you retire and then take the amount after that so those who are below 40 or till 40 can open this account anyone above 40 years cannot open lifetime is isa and then you can put money until 50 and then and, and after 60 you can withdraw the amount without any penalty in case someone has any terminal illness and they will they are told by the doctors that they can only live by for one year then the government will consider not applying the penalty of 25% deduction in some certain cases however most of the people use this lisa to buy house you put 
allowance every year 4000 pounds maximum you can put for example uh, you open account in uh, at 6th of uh, april but you will just put 1 pound in that account and then you are planning to buy a home around february the following year then you put the remaining 3999 pounds then the government will give you 1000 pounds 5000 pounds then withdraw that 5000 pounds and then pay that for the house or a first house only so in that way it is beneficial so that pe people every year they need to use the allowance maximum and then for lisa a lot of uh, experts are saying just put one pound and then keep it uh, kind of ideal before you buy it within that financial year put the remaining amount and then you get the uh, kind of the government incentive and you buy the home so this is lifetime isa so next thing as i mentioned about uh, children's isa children's isa is for juniors up to 18 years old who can who can uh, kind of have this account you can open on behalf of your children and all the money you invest you cannot reap the benefit that is you cannot use them for your purpose once you deposit your money for your children's isa again it can be a cash isa or stock and shares isa every year as of now 2024 the maximum allowance is 9000 pounds 9000 pounds you can put on behalf of your child and you give it to your child and then whatever benefit comes out of that that only the child can enjoy and 16 to 18 years old can open on it on their own but below that the parents have to open and then they can manage that then they can withdraw the amount at the age of 18 for a, any purpose they want the children can use on their own so that is uh, children's isa there are many uh, reputable platforms available to open this kind of accounts banks have cash isa some uh, trading companies which is uh, recognized by the fca fsa which is the governing bodies of the bank or the financial organization they uh, there are a lot of uh, companies which you can open cash and stock isa there will be platform fees trading fees selling fees buying fees all those things will be there read the terms and conditions before you uh, go to this uh, stock and share isa but clearly you know that it's a stock and shares the money you put might go up and go, go down so you have to be very careful but if you are in cash isa then whatever you money put will be there and then you can withdraw at the end of the year some com some type of uh, uh, organizations will tell you you can withdraw one time two time there will be some conditions attached so you have to look into that so some companies will say that you can withdraw the amount but you cannot uh, uh, kind of uh, put it back again to uh, fulfill that 20,000 pounds limit so look into terms and conditions if you are opening cash ISA there will be set interest per year 4.5, 2.5, 3.5 something like that nowadays uh, the normal savings account on the, and then the current account are giving more interest compared to the cash ISA but the interest from savings account and current account will be taxed there will be no tax for the interest from uh, ISA accounts so that's the difference so hope this video gave you a kind of understanding about the ISA accounts individual savings account why people are uh, kind of uh, this industry is more putting these advertisements during the end of the financial year start of the financial year to open these accounts and then asking the people to use the allowance so I told you the reason for that hope this helps you we'll see you in the next video until then take care bye